Thank you. I hear that a lot. You know what else I hear a lot? Sometimes I hear people say, why do you talk about the same stuff all the time? Well, the reason I talk about the same stuff, like heat, if you guys knew how many emails and text messages I got between Friday and today about heat on SmackDown, I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. This show, I got emails about two things, okay? One of them was the incessant heat on the show and how big a geek Kevin Owens is. And the second was Sonya Deville's absolute nothing return. Well, I can't really talk about the latter because it was such a nothing happening return that I didn't even see it. So I knew it was happening. I watched the show. The show ended. I realized I didn't even see it. So apparently she was walking. Did I miss anything? I think that's what happened. Now, as far as Kevin Owens goes, this poor bro, I spared y'all the bloke. He got beat up again. This guy comes out at the beginning of the show, and Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, the top heel, cuts the same promo we're all thinking in our head. Buddy, just go away. All that ever happens is you get beat up. Just give up and go do something else. But no, Kevin Owens has to come out. And tonight he wants a match with Jey Uso, okay? So he goes backstage and he runs into Adam Pierce. And he goes, I want a match with Jey Uso. Adam Pierce goes, I can't give you that match, Kevin. And you know why. I thought, I don't know why. Why can't you give this guy this match? I have no idea why he can't give this guy this match. So they banter back and forth. And... Pierce says, all right, fine. You can have anybody on the roster except Jey Uso. So this fool goes, well, I want, Ke- I, want, I want Roman Reigns. Adam goes, why are you making my life so difficult? They banter some more, and finally Pierce goes, fine. You can have Jey Uso. I still don't know why he didn't want to give him Jey Uso. So they go out there for the main event. Apparently, the show that Adam Pierce booked, they didn't have a main event, but he still didn't want to book a main event. So they go out there for this main event, Kevin Owens beats this guy up, and he pins him with a stunner. And I look at the clock. There's nine minutes left on the show. You know what that means. Sure enough, out comes Roman Reigns. And they beat on him. 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 And finally, they throw him off the stage, and they kill him at the end of all of this beating. I'm sure next week he'll be back for yet another beating. Let's talk about the fun parts of my job here. Every week. Every week. All Saturday long I hear, Why don't you post those SmackDown ratings? Even though I say the same thing every time. Well, the ratings will go up for SmackDown on Tuesday because the Saturday numbers are the overnights. They're almost always lower than the final number, so why bother? But everyone, where's the SmackDown numbers? Why do they want the SmackDown numbers? Well, because they're so much higher than AEW, so they want to just be crazy. So, I knew this was going to happen. It happened exactly as I anticipated. Last week, SmackDown follows an NFL game that does eight digits. Over 10 million viewers for this game. SmackDown airs immediately afterwards. It does a very good number. Now, I would like to preface this by saying that I would really like it if SmackDown did 4 million viewers every week. I'd like it even more if they did 5 million. Because if they did 4 or 5 million viewers every week, I'd probably be doing this show from some Hawaiian island that I own. But instead, they're where they're at. But the show does a great number. I go on Twitter... And everybody is so excited. Look at how well this great show did. Man, they booked a great show. And the numbers are great. Just living in fantasy land. Well, this week, coincidentally, SmackDown is going head-to-head with the game. And they get beaten solidly. Under 2 million viewers. These same people that celebrated the great number of SmackDown last week, now they're like, Brian, you can ignore this going head-to-head against football? 
How do these people live with themselves? How do they go through life? The real number will come in Tuesday, everybody. But that's what the number was. It was under 2 million viewers. Obviously, if you don't live in fantasy land, last week's great number was boosted by the NFL, and this week's not-so-great number was hurt by the NFL. That's just the facts. You can throw out last week's number, and you know what? You can throw out this week's number as well. Or you can live on the moon. It's up to you. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.